In this video, we are going to be taking apart this EPC and replacing the thermal paste, which you should do on all laptops, desktops, computers, consoles, as they get old. Now, there are no video guides on the internet, so I'm kind of going in a little bit... I mean, there's no text guide. There's video guides, but I don't really want to watch those. So, I'm just going in blind here. So, the first thing I did was I removed the keyboard. There's little clips, one here, one here, one here, and one here. So, you need to push it up and then get the keyboard up and then do the same for all of these here. And before disconnecting any, like, ribbon cables or anything, that always... Always remove the battery. Disconnect the uh, ribbon cable here by lifting this little piece up and then lifting the piece up on the other side and then pulling it out. Remove the access door by unscrewing the two screws and then just popping it out. I'm filming this in a weird order, but I might have a review of this laptop out already. So if you want to see that, if I can figure out how to do it, I'll put it up there. All right, here's something kind of interesting. This has an SSD in it, which is really cool considering the fact how old it is. It's really slow, but whatever. This, also, this is 30 gigs, I'm pretty sure. And then there's a faster 4 gigabyte one that you actually have the OS on. And yes, you heard that right, 4 gigabytes. Four. Now, before we get into this too deep, I just want to say this isn't really meant to be like a tutorial. Maybe you could follow along with it if you know what you're doing, but do this at your own risk. I'm not responsible. Now, take out all the screws along the edge and these small little three ones underneath the battery. Now that all the screws are out on the bottom and this, there, yeah, flip it over and then remove all of these screws and remember to break the warranty. Now that all the screws are out on the top and the bottom, what you want to do is you want to lay the screen as far back as it goes. Whoa, now it's, it, yeah, look, the screen is literally heavier than this little tiny laptop. But then, um, this piece here basically will just lift off, but be careful and remember to disconnect the, um, give me a second here. to disconnect the touchpad cable. Oh goodness gracious, this is really stuck in there. There we go, disconnected. Now you can just lift up this panel and uh, disconnect this cable here. Carefully, and there we go. And now this top panel is out, you can just put it aside and clean it. Because look how dirty this thing is, dang. Now that we're in, we can take a look around. And that is the CPU right there, I'm pretty sure. That's that's the chipset or the graphics. Uh, one of these is the chipset and one of these is the graphics. Um, but kind of strange, what the heck is this fan cooling exactly? I guess we'll find out when we remove the motherboard. For these cables, just disconnect them. And then you have to unscrew this ground now the speaker connector at the bottom, the Bluetooth connect um, connector here, the fan connector here, and the display connector here, and unscrew this other ground. Now you have to unscrew the two screws and the two screws here for the hinges. Be very careful. I've had hinges just like snap because they're plastic and they're old. There is a singular screw right here holding the motherboard in place. It is still attached to the screen by the antennas. Just remove those. Now that the laptop is in complete like shambles, you can lift the motherboard away. May have just realized this laptop doesn't have thermal paste. It has thermal pads. And I could have known that if I was thinking. Well... <laughs> That doesn't really matter that much anyway. It still needed a good clean out. But maybe check your, if your laptop has thermal paste before you do this. It does look close enough that I could maybe replace the thermal pad with paste. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Going to remove the three fan screws and then clean that out with my microfiber cloth. I'm still wondering what in the world this fan is for. It's an exhaust. So, one second. It's just sitting there pulling air from here down and out not really sure what that does 
it's back together and it still works i'm going to be giving it a much needed cleaning with some isopropyl alcohol and a microfiber cloth as you can see look how much better that space bar looks anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you all later bye